Hello, my name is Scott Inger. Welcome to your first web dev uh, snapshot. And in this first snapshot, we're going to be going over CSS animations. In this video, we'll be going over ju animations just for uh, Chrome because it has some of the best support for most of the functionality, except for it has browser prefixes. So let's begin by adding, uh, I have a basic HTML template that has three divs with classes and linking to a CSS style sheet over here. And we're going to create a new rule called at dash web kit, which is what Chrome is based off of keyframes and we're going to put curly braces and we're going to save that and we're just going to create a name here and this one's going to be for let's do this for the green box so I'm going to name it green and hold up Never mind. Okay. I guess I don't have syntax. Maybe if I do this. Syn okay, there we go. Now it recognizes it. it. And in here, we're going to add a 0% and curly braces. After that, we're going to add a 50% in curly braces and 100% with curly braces. Okay, what essentially this will do for each of these is when the animation is playing at 0%, it's going to be at this position, color, or whatever you decide to animate at 50%, it'll at 50% through the, t the animation, it'll do the same or do differently, whatever you put inside of these brackets, and also in the 100%. So now, we're just gonna, I'm gonna do a webkit, webkit-transform, uh, and we're gonna do, let's do a translate, X and we gotta translate it three hundred pixels. Or we're gonna actually want this at zero pixels, because this is an initial. And for this one we're gonna do transform. I'm just using my quick keyboard shortcuts. I'm gonna put my semicolons at the end. And for this we're gonna want that 300 300 and to add that um, for the last one we're gonna do copy the same one again if you're in sublime a quick way to duplicate the line for Windows and Linux is control shift D but anyway and now after this translate um, X, we're going to add a translate Y, and we're going to do something like 30 pixels. And save that. And we can come over here, and we can see that nothing is going on here. So we need to add the animation property to the green class. So you go uh, for WebKit based browsers, you have WebKit dash animation and animation colon. Then you put the seconds you want it to go do it for. So I want to do it for three seconds. The name of the animation, which is green. Uh, iterations infinite and 
how uh, iterations is how many times you want it to go and because we want it to keep going back and forth and back and forth we want to put alternate and we save and we'll refresh over here and as you can see it moves and there's also one uh, and you can see how it's going really fast and then we're really slow is so we can change that by adding linear to the end which keeps everything going at the same speed the entire time relatively okay so now that we have that let's uh, create another animation at dash web I'm just going to copy what we have up here. Control Shift D. We're going to call this one red. Because this is going to be on the red. And we're going to rotate on this one Z axis. And we're going to do 0 DG. Whoa, okay. Actually, I'm hit insert. We're going to hit uh, 0 DEG. I'm just going to copy that. We're going to get rid of this 50%. We're going to move that down here. Remove that rule. And here I want to put, let's say, 60. Ah, my num, key, num locks off. That's why. And rotate 60 degrees. And because we have uh, 100%, uh, 0 percent to 100 percent, we can just use the keywords two and f or f from for 0 percent and two for 100 percent. So if we refresh, we still haven't added the animation. So I can duplicate that, bring that down here. And put red and refresh over here. We can see that it's animating rota uh, by rotation this time. I'm going to change that to one second. And as you can see, it's now tilting back and forth. Now, for the last one, we're going to animate the background color. So I'm going to duplicate the the red. I'm going to name it blue. And for the first one, I'm just going to take off the from and do the two. And BG tab. Oh, okay. Dash. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to do it this way. And we're going to change it to why not orange? We save that and duplicate this, bring it down, name it blue, save and refresh. And now it animates from blue to orange, essentially pulsating. Well, that is the very, very quick tutorial on how to do some CS animations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next tutorials. Or, well, in the next snapshots. See ya. Bye-bye.